As parents, we all have a duty to protect our, our children. We get concerned when they get upset. We get even more concerned when they get upset by something we can't see. A nine-year-old child waking in the middle of the night, claiming that she's seen a ghost floating in her room. A very short time later, her brother in a separate bedroom reports pretty much the same thing. Parasomnia, otherwise known as night terrors. Around the world, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of cases of children waking in the night screaming, terrified that they've seen something in their room they can't explain, an apparition, a ghost, a figure, a shadow. A lot of people who don't know about night terrors would simply say, it's a night terror, it's a nightmare. Nightmare, possible. Night terrors, not so much. The reason for that is we need to look at actually what a night terror is. A night terror generally occurs between the ages of 4 and 12 years old when a child is in one of the deepest phases of sleep, which is normally after two hours, which is the N3. The other thing about a night terror is when a child has a night terror, they can't remember anything about it. So what do you do when you're a parent with two children in two separate rooms, young girl and age nine, a little boy aged three reporting the same thing. That's pretty scary stuff, isn't it? A reoccurring thing every single night. This was one such case that I was asked to attend. As always, when you're dealing with children, it's a whole different ball game. Children are very vulnerable. Children are very impressionable. You can't totally dismiss what they're saying, but at the same time you have to play it down and look for, or make up, alternative explanations. But when you're getting recordings which support what the child is saying, again, that's another ball game. During the investigation, a female cried out, and I mean cried out. You've probably seen the last, the last video I put out. Come and listen to this. It was on that scale. She cried out, take me, take me. A very desperate voice. There was a portal that opened. Now, I spent a lot of years researching portals. In fact, not to put a too fine a point on it, I probably know more about portals than anybody else because I've studied them, I've actually used them, I can identify them, I can identify with them, I can tell when they're building, I can tell when they're going to open, and boy, when they open, it all kicks off. We turned off all the power to the house that was important. After we'd been there within the first hour, I could feel energy building. I thought, could this be a portal? Because at this point, I'm not sure. Not until it gets to a certain point. Before the little gears my mouth switched it on, the light started just flickering. That doesn't mean a whole lot. As time progressed, every few minutes, this flickering got stronger and stronger and stronger. Then I, also I was feeling the energy of this getting stronger and stronger and stronger, because as I've said before in a portal, they tend to open, a residential portal tends to open once in every 24 hours. It's a gradual build up of energy over a certain period of time, poof, and then it's open, and all bets are off of actually what can occur. The wonderful thing in this video is the fact that I said this could be a portal, then I said I suspected it was a portal, and this little mirror thing confirmed everything that I was, I was saying, to the point, as you'll see in this footage, I said, when it builds right up and it stays on for several seconds, like 30 seconds or 60 seconds, the portal is open. That's exactly what happened, literally word for word. And it was straight after that, was very, just a few minutes after that, even, maybe in two, three minutes, I, I can't remember. The first cry came from upstairs of a child 
Mommy, Daddy. The problem with this is minutes later, the three-year-old child in the other room pretty much reported the same thing. It was going to be called, it was originally called Demon Hunt Part 1, and then there was a Part 2. The Part 1 went on, on my old, up on my old channel, and everybody said, where's Part 2? The Part 2 then was going to become a Part 3, but uh, the family actually moved before I, I, I got back to them, which was literally within days. So for the first time, Part 2 here will be joined on to Part 1. So this is Demon Hunt. Been experiencing? Like dark spirits. Right, okay. It's just my mate's back, he's sitting in my front room. And it's like someone's like walked into my house and gone up the steps. No okay, so you've had this, this has been going on for about approximately two years, but recently it's it's escalated, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what else have you been experiencing? Have you had anything moving or? Yeah, um, yeah basically, um, I could like turn the telly off and it can just like um, turn itself on or my child's um, radio, I turn it off and then it's um, been um, turned on. There's no one upstairs. And this is generally between certain hours of the evening, isn't it? If I'm here on my own, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm um, being watched. And then about half past ten, yeah. I could sit down, sit down, and then I'll just get it like, around like, a really cold, like, um, breeze. Yeah. And then it just like, a really cold, like, uh, breeze, uh, like a cold breeze, but there's no windows open or doors. Okay. So just, so I can feel like a cold presence, and it feels like I've been watched. Um, noticed something was wrong. I was actually sitting in my kitchen, and I saw these black things walk by, and I've seen like um, um, like figures walking by the house, or like no, like an arm, but there's no one there. Okay, and I'm gonna need to. It's just a generic question. Is anybody in the house any kind of um, medication? Well, I don't. I don't drink, and I don't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'll pop around later this evening and see what the case is, okay? Alright then. We've been here now for probably about half an hour. Nick, you were sitting there and thought you saw something at the door, didn't you, when, when the lights was on? Literally, mate, it was a split second. It was like something peered round and then shot yeah. off. Initially when we got here, it seemed very, very flat. Um, I would say there was nothing, it, it was something, but nothing really apparent. But what one thing that was apparent was this, um, we don't normally use EMF meters, as you know, Nick, but on this occasion, I pulled, pulled this little circuit out because as I was standing there, we, well, Tony's K2 started to flash, didn't it? Yeah. So then I put this on, which is far more sensitive. And what was very apparent is, by the way, we've turned the, the broadband and everything off in the house. And, okay. What was apparent was, this all of a sudden was lighting up. And then it went back to normal. And then it came back stronger, didn't it, Alison? It did, yeah. At the moment, if this continues to do this on and off for the next few minutes, if this starts building up now and going to full strength, there is possibility, and I say possibility because I don't actually know that there could be a portal because they said it's around this time every night when it starts to kick off. That's more or less not reading a great deal at the moment. So if it goes to full strength again, we'll see how long it goes to full strength for and we'll time it because when a portal's forming, this is, oh. what happens is gradually increases in, in strength each time there we it comes back. I just need to see if that starts to build and build and build. I'm going to stay with Nick for a minute to uh, check up recordings. If this builds, builds and then on a time in between when it goes to full strength and when it goes down and you know each time to see if it does actually build into a portal opening if that's the case this will be lit anywhere in the house 100 percent wherever we go so time now listen it's now 10 30 and this is the time when they said things start to kick off what we're going to do now is um we're just going to walk around the house like we normally do nick i'm going to actually leave this on the table 
because that's where it was last time, is it, Alison, when it started? There you go. Goes to full strength, just see what time it is <coughs> and how long it lasts before it actually goes back again. In the meantime, Nick, okay. we're now going to go for a little... Uh... Well, yeah. Alison, what time we got? Oh, I've got it here. Right, that's four minutes. Four or five minutes since last time. Five minutes from before, it built up and it's gone. You can see on there now, there's just one little light. Uh, just flickering. Light. So we trust it's in five minutes time if that comes up and, and actually stays up stronger. Right Nick, let's, let's go for a little walk around. Yep. The yeah, engine's still pretty weak, but uh, let's have a get on. This area here is where there seems to be a lot of, a bit more energy. So. Well, that, that's where I picked it up earlier on. Okay. And um, bang and bug you <coughs> as well. Where the I'm getting it now actually. Right, who's that? Well, wow. well, what did Becky say? Something, something, with him. With him, yeah. Some... It, it does sound better, um, more distance away. Now also now you can see why I use two different digital recorders. Yeah? Because someone, yeah. asked, someone asked me that on YouTube, why do you use two recorders? Yeah, yeah. I'll explain that they record slightly different frequencies. This is getting so strong now. Flash red twice. Flash red twice, that's exactly five minutes from before. Yeah. That's exactly five minutes, so... Let's just give it a good... Oh. I'm doing it now next to you, Nick. Yeah. Actually. Right, can anybody say, tell me, is there a portal in the process of forming here. If there is, can you say that is correct? Something loud that I can hear, please. Thank you. Shut up, I, I can hear the word correct. Is it? Can you hear it correct as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying I'm just trying to find pockets of energy to get answers because obviously it's a little bit sporadic at the moment. Right, that's red, 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 red. Hey, look how strong that is now. Mm. Look at that. Keep keep in that second Nick. Step back away from it, I don't want to affect it in any way, I want you to starting to get a cool breeze here. I've just felt that. Yeah. <laughs> Across my legs. Yeah. Now this is what I'm saying about things gradually building and building as the portal opens. Now can you see the difference guys from, from now? It's been five minutes apart and each time it's got stronger and stronger, hasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can tell you now it's exactly five minutes since I said it was five minutes. Now that looks to me like it's it's it's, it's very much getting there. <coughs> has it just gone? It has. Totally. It has, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see if it's five minutes and it comes back again. That was on red for a long time, wasn't it? I want to see how long it can sustain being on red. If that comes on red and it stays there for 20, 30 seconds, woof, it's open. In fact, I'll probably feel it upstairs anyway, to be honest with you. Okay. Yeah, let's go. <coughs> right, it's strong here as well. Oh, it is strong here. Do you realise you're fighting this family? Thank <laughs> you. 
Can you see how apparent it is every time I say it's strong here, I get a load of yeah. behind it? Yeah. It's bang every time, isn't it? The one good thing, isn't it? These guys are actually forthcoming. Yeah. Not so strong in there. There's a very strong male presence in it. Very strong. Let's try this one. Right, I'm aware that you're in here. You're causing the family distress. There's, there's more going on in here than, than meets the eye, mate. Nick, why is the temperature going up? Oh, yeah, I've just noticed that, mate. I was just literally about to tell you. It's. Yeah. Is the, the heating's not on, is it? You alright, sweetheart? You alright, darling? You alright? You're tired. Let me tuck you in. Um, I think we better go downstairs so we're getting all this build up of energy. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Well, when I was downstairs, it, it, you know, when I was a bit speechless, mm. and um, I saw, I saw that. Literally, it was like a, a white, greyish, outline. Just very quickly. And it, literally. So that's the door. Mm. Yeah. It was the door. Literally like that. Though. And. Interestingly enough, that's why I said the energy was, and I got that loud voice as well. And the, the temperature is... It is getting hot, it is, isn't it? It's very hot. Should we come on downstairs? Let's go downstairs now. What's it saying? I'm going to go back to her. Listen to this. No, probably... It may not be as clear to you as it is to me. You're going to go back to who? To her mother. This is Crystal. Hi. That sounds like a child to me, or a female. Yeah, I thought that. Oh, right. Oh. Okay. I'm her mother. Interesting. We had none of this until that started getting strong on that meter yeah. downstairs. Absolutely, mate. This is taking a bit of unraveling, so I'm not sure what the hell's going on. Okay. Got to look all around me now, mate. Is it absolutely all around me? I'm gonna have that. I need to have that thing lit up down there because very strong. Told you. Three minutes, it's on permanent. Now you tell me that does not tie in exactly with what I've been saying, how portals develop yeah, and what happens. Absolutely. Because upstairs, the voices also went, Wash, I've got a strength. Upstairs on the landing, I says, I bet you that meter just come on. Yeah, it's there. There's a portal on it. It's getting more frequency. Um, yeah, but look at this. To yeah. staying, this to it, staying it, it's actually staying on rather than flashing. It's like, there's 40 seconds between. Getting more and more regular, you know. Now it's on constantly. Yeah. And I was upstairs at that time. Yeah, it would tie into that. To you, I bet you that that meter is now full on, didn't I? Yeah.
Okay. You know what, darling? Hold on, hold on. I'll do it. I'll do it. That's all right. Yeah, okay. Shut the door, mate. I just want to make sure she's all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, darling? What's the matter, sweetheart? Why are you scared, darling? Darling? Why are you scared? Ghost. Ghost? So you don't get scared. Have you ever seen any ghosts here? You haven't, have you? A demon. A demon? What did that look like? Red eyes. Red eyes. Red eyes. What did you see? Red eyes. What, on the top of the stairs? Yeah. He may not really be a demon. Could be imagination, couldn't it? You know what I mean? Do you know what I was asking? I actually imagine I'm scared. And what, what would a demon want to be here for? If you, let, I can see you smiling, listen. If you was a demon, you could go anywhere you want in the world. Yeah? Would you want, would you come here? There's lots of nicer places you could be, isn't there? On holiday? All around the world? Australia? What, you'd rather be here? I know what I'd rather be. Do you want your mum to do now? Is that what you say? Okay, I'll tell you what's going to say, alright? So, you okay then? Good girl. No, is your mother alive? Yeah. Or she's in spirit? She's in spirit. Your mother is? Okay. Yeah. What was her name? Christine. Christine. How long ago did she die? Oh, ages ago. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'll get back to you very shortly. Okay. okay. No, don't start with yeah. uh, it's, it's just you know, questions. Yeah. You've asked me to come and do a job. Yes. And I have to do it properly. That means we're getting right. the correct information. Yeah. yeah. All right. You have got guests here, as okay. I've told them. Okay. Uh, nothing suggests there's anything particularly not good, mm -hmm. but I'll speak to them later. I'll play some of the recordings and everything. I just need to, so you understand things a little bit better. Because yeah, yeah. at the minute it's like, oh my God, my house is haunted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to explain things a bit better well, to you. She yeah. has been watching um, Most Haunted. Yeah, I've watched She does like watching media yeah. as well, so she should know yes, a bit about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there's a difference yeah. between that and the reality of the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a massive, massive difference yeah. between what you see on TV and what, yeah, and what, and what yeah. it's yeah. like in real life. Yeah, yeah, Trust yeah. me. So I'll talk to both of you in a little while. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go in there and, and just have a little bit of a sauce. I'm going to have a cigarette. I'm going to have a yeah. cigarette right. first. And if it gets too cold, you can smoke in the kitchen. It's like, you know what? I just smoke outside yeah. anyway. Yeah. I always do. I don't even smoke in my own house. Oh, right. Um, so, yeah, you can just pop up with your little girl. I yeah, yeah, sure yeah. That yeah, that's no problem. She, she was telling me that she was fighting a little while ago because she saw a demon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said to her, and he had her eyes, she said, yeah. I said, there's not a demon, sweetheart. If you was a demon, if you could go anywhere in the world, yeah. Australia on holiday anywhere, why would you want to come here? Yeah. So, you, you know, you, you go anywhere, all the yeah, nice yeah, places yeah. you think, so she's kind of... She says, I'm going back to her, didn't she? Yeah. And then I went, who are you? Did I say who are you? Oh no, to who? Well, to who? To who? And she says, I'm her mother. Just ask the lady in the house, said, is your mother in spirit? And she said, yes. Um, she passed ages ago. And her name's Christine. Yeah. Okay. Now, normally, as you know, we don't do relatives and, and things for obvious reasons. Yeah. But there's definitely a clear reply there from a lady on the landing saying it's her mother. And being as she's the only one here with a mother that seems to have passed away. Yeah. And she said she's her mother. We need to take that a little bit further. Right, let's get a break, Nick. And yep. we'll. I better go on and examine. Yeah.
we've done. We just popped outside because it's uh, getting quite warm inside. Mm. Whew, um, some interesting recording so far, isn't there? Yeah, initially when we went, went in, when I went, when we went in, it didn't feel anything special. There was a slight about the place, but you know, I've like said before, there's guys in, in most houses, so it, nothing that really apparent or felt bad. Then after a while, I was kind of getting the feeling there's more this, <laughs> more to this than meets the eye. Yeah. It was, I felt an energy come on and then dissipate. And whereas I always say that, that I think there's a portal and I've explained how they actually form, um, this time I thought it'd be best to show it visually. So we've actually put the MF on and it does literally show the <clears throat> energy building each time, dissipating. Five minutes at a time, wasn't it, Alison? It was, yeah. Bang on five minutes at a time. Each time it came back, it got stronger and stronger. Just before it got to its strongest, we actually went upstairs to take some recordings, yep. didn't we? Yeah. We was in the bedroom, the heat in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. I mean, the heating is not on. It's a freezing night. It is really cold. We're just about on the verge of sweating, weren't we? Well, absolutely. It, it, was, it was that hot. Yep. And then we took a, a recording, and I did say that the energy is really strong, and I said to you, I bet when we get down there now, that thing's on red. Yeah. We came down, there it was on the table, full pelt, and, yeah. and Tony said it had been there for three minutes, which is about the time from when I said it had come on to when we actually came downstairs. Came downstairs, yeah. When we was upstairs in the bed, we took this recording, which sounds very much to me like, what is your name? Find it. You got that? Yeah. And that's me talking afterwards. Uh, just, just after that. Yep. We then took another recording. Then there's this one, which kind of sounds like killing. It may not be that, but that's what it sounds like. Tonight in there, it's uh, certainly changed a lot. We're just about to go in and explain to the clients exactly what the situation is, because again, they wanted to know what the situation was. Oh, we're going to go in and have a chat now with the residents, and, and we'll go from there, Nick. OK. Don's just gone back in. Yep. Um, How's it, how's it how's it going for you personally? It's very interesting the meter how it was going off when you and Don went upstairs. Yeah, because you you stayed downstairs and yeah. you and you monitored that. Yeah, uh, it was meter. every three or four minutes. It it was going like full on to the red, and it was quite weird as well because I was sitting there and sort of from sort of here upwards was like burning hot, but. Which from is exactly knees. what we felt upstairs. Yeah, but from my knees down, it was like ice cold. Mm. It, it was really, really weird. Good job. Yes. And after we properly, that means we're getting Sorry. the correct information. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tonight in there, it's uh, certainly changed a lot. We're just about to go in and explain to the clients exactly what the situation is, because again, they wanted to know what the situation was. You have two choices. Yeah. Right. You've you have got some guests here. Okay. Uh, which I've, I've already explained. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I can tell you what the full situation is, or yep. just deal with it. All of it, please. You'd like to know that what the yeah. full situation yeah, is. Please. Yeah, please. Yes. Okay. That involves hearing some of the recordings that we've been taking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, first of all, there is in the house. Mm -hmm. It would appear in the, at the minute that there is a portal. Okay. Right. And do you know what a portal is? Um, someone that comes through and out. It's, it's how, it's yeah. basically a doorway where, yeah. how some, some yeah. different types of spirits can, can actually yeah. enter the yeah. house. Okay. Um, I say that because we, we've been monitoring some equipment there. You see that thing that's flashing? Yeah. yeah. And there's a certain way that these things develop and, and that ties in with the certain way and what, yeah. I, what I would expect. Also, when it, when it opens, the voices get a lot louder and the energy throughout the house gets a lot louder. Oh, right. Okay. That enables me to get some clear quite good yeah. replies. When I was upstairs on the landing, I stopped and I felt a quite a strong presence. Right. There was a lady. Yeah. The first recording, I said, who's that? And she says, I'm going back to her or back down to her. I'm not sure which one it, which one it was, Nick, at, at the minute. Yeah. Um, one of the two. Yeah, I think it's I'm going back to, <coughs> to her, probably. So, yeah. And I said, who are you or what's your name? And mm. I don't know if there's anything to do with you, yeah. it may not be, but this lady says, I'm her mother. Okay. Okay, you'll hear that quite clearly. Yeah. Which is why I said to you, is your mother in spirit? Yeah. I'm not saying it is, 
Okay. I'm simply saying, I've had a lady upstairs telling yeah. me it's somebody's mother. Okay. And obviously I need to know if someone's mother in the house has passed. Okay. Yeah. That's also why I, ha I asked her name. Yeah. I will be able to establish sometime tonight whether that is the case. Okay. But it could be somebody else's mother. Yeah. Um, it would appear as well that there, there may be something here that's not particularly good as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've that's that. probably the one I've been feeling. Yeah. Okay. That I tend to deal with before I leave. Okay. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, you've got children here. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd rather not do it with children here. Okay. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. But we'll see, we'll see how we go on. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, this is a couple of other recordings. Now, one of these we think sounds like, um, what is your name? Isn't that one? Your name. I, I think that says what you're Yeah, name. it does sound like it. Yeah. What's your name, yeah? Or something close. Yeah. <laughs> now, that was actually taken in the back bedroom here, which I presume is your bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I said to Nick, there's a quite a strong presence here, didn't I? Yeah. Um, that's where we got that one from. Oh. Right. Okay, but that is obviously a lot stronger than the others. Yeah. And from experience, normally stuff that's not, shall we say, particularly good tends yeah. to be louder than yeah than, yeah. than others. On this, that's basically one of my spirit friends telling, let me know that there's something here that's not yeah not right, not really yeah. what you'd want. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Put it that way. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying you've got anything to worry about or yeah. in any danger, but I will try and rectify it before we go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you was right to call us out. Oh God. And we've got guests. <laughs> My concern is your daughter. Yeah. Okay. She's lovely. Yeah. She? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's beautiful. beautiful. She's, she's yeah. absolutely lovely. Yeah. She's also very, very sensitive and she's, she's already really upset about everything. Yeah. Well, she saw something on the landing, what we didn't. Right. Yeah. That's not unusual. Right? Yeah. Where young children are concerned. You're going to have to try and help her. Don't talk about anything like this around her. No, yeah. no, we won't. If she brings it up, she might mention yeah. why was that man here. She's already yeah. convinced. There's something. She's that's trying. Right. She's that's trying. Right. That's no, soul. that's right. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Now, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's upstairs. It's upstairs. Yeah. yeah. This is what we have to go for. Yeah. Right, it's not standing. Just here. Alright, alright. You just. Uh, right, we're not going to film the child. You stand in it. Can you shout him downstairs next to be quiet a minute, please? Guys! Totally quiet. Guys! Alison! 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 Absolute silence! Silence. Please. Can I just ask him why he's just woken up? Yeah. Yes. Why he woke up? Can you tell me why he woke up? Yeah. I don't think it's going to What? The car. Where'd the car go? He's still here. Yeah. Out there. So, he, he says this. So his favourite cigar is Lady Gaga. It looks like Lady Gaga. Like, and it comes to him as Lady Gaga, yeah. And it's every every night. It's every night, yes. And it, about the same time. Uh, tonight it's a bit later. Okay. It's and normally around about half past eleven, quarter to twelve. And it's just pointed here. And it's just yeah. Okay. Can you just not speak for a second for me? Yep. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have a little chat with the little boy. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, mate. What's your name, anyway? Come talk to me. Come talk to me. I'm going to ask Jack. Come see you. What's his name? Fake. Sorry? Drake. Drake. Okay, Drake. So, you've... Lady Gaga, did you say? Or Gaga? Yeah? Do you know what, what Gaga looks like? Can you, can you tell me? <coughs> what did you tell your daddy? What does Gaga look like? 
Pink. Silver. Pink? I'm Pink? Is it a lady? It is a lady. Does she smile at you? Has she got a nice face? Yeah, so why 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 be scared? Do you know when I was little, I used, I used to I used to think I saw somebody as well when I used to I'd in my bedroom and everything. And do you know what really? There's absolutely nothing there. And I know it's really hard for to understand. How old is it? We have been born. No, this one. It's been marching now. Only twenty eight. But there's something that I can do. I can do a little bit of magic, yeah, and it might stop the night terrors. Does that sound like a good idea? So later, I'm going to do some magic and see if we can stop them, them night terrors so you won't see Lady Gaga anymore. Does that sound good? Would you like that? Yeah? Let's shake on it, mate. It's a deal. Good boy. Good boy. So, are you okay to go bed now? Feel better? No. No, he normally climbs into our bed. Oh, does this he? This time, yeah. Okay. Okay, this, this... Want me to go and put you in our bed? Do you know this gargoyle mm -hmm. that, that you see? Do you know this, this gargoyle that you have on a night terror? It, is she standing or is she floating in the air? Is she standing on the floor or is she, or is she floating? Floating? Yeah? And how do you, you wake up? How do you know she's there? You see her? Yeah. But what I've just said to you is imagination. There's not really one there, but I'm going to do some magic, right? And see if we can stop that imagination and get running away with you. Is that a nice plan? That's a deal then, mate, yeah? Good, good lad. That's a man shake, isn't it? Good lad, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Is it just keep because I don't want to chow it on the picture? Mark! Yeah. I'll just pop in. Can <coughs> <coughs> you just shout? Is it a little boy? Yeah. Reasons. You know, but I can say when I looked around the door, he looked absolutely petrified. He was looking straight out the door and he was pointing like that. Okay? Yeah. I've just said to him, What does she look like? And he said, She's pink. She's in pink. I said, Is she standing there or, or floating? And he said, Floating. I said, Does she smiling? And he said, Yes. Has she got a nice face? And he said, Yes. I said, well, what have you got to be frightened of? And then I says to him, I don't know if you heard, that, you know, when you're little... Night terrors. You have night terrors. Yeah. They're not real. Yeah. And I'm going to do some magic tonight just to make the night terrors go away. Yeah. It's essential that kid gets out of his head that he's got ghost in his landing. Yeah. The guy's four years old. Oh, bless him. We can have a chat with Becky in a bit. I need to know this as well. The thing is, Nick, because of everything, because of everything else that we've picked up here, yeah. I've got no reason, no reason to doubt him. No. He's actually seen something. Absolutely. Night toes. <laughs> Someone's put on the toilet. <laughs> okay. As far as I'm aware, this is generally the same time every night, and as far as I'm aware, I know that the night terrors are a fact. Yeah. I don't argue with that. But we've got to take into consideration the stuff that we've had while we've been here. No. So, I'm just carrying on doing what we're doing. Yeah. Dig a little bit deeper. Okay. Obviously we've got the whatever it is that's not particularly good yeah. to, to deal with yet. 
<laughs> Tim. Um, Gosh. I just felt a weird. Oh, on your back? Yeah. Okay. It's obviously a major, major concern for the parents. Absolutely. We've, we've told them exact situation as it is. <laughs> told them. Sorry, I don't like it in here, mate. What's the matter? I don't. I'll just don't. Okay. I'm just going to try to take a couple of recordings. Yeah. Um, I want to see if Becky or Carol, who's obviously appears to <laughs> be working with Becky now, <laughs> yeah. wherever she's gone from. But uh, they're talking to me, so we'll try it anyway. It may not be successful. Becky, Carol, can you tell me, is there this boy that just flashed? The light bulb just flashed. Is it? It actually, actually flashed. Not full, I just glanced up and oh. it just went like this. Guys, the, can you, oh. the element just flashed. See so if we can do it again. No, but we don't know what it is. It could be a fault, but I don't know. If no. I... Okay, where was I? Um, can you tell me, Becky or Carol, did the little boy see what he describes to me, Gargar? Or indeed, would Gargar like to speak to me? It didn't flash as in the ball flashing. Just you know, the, yeah, I don't the know actual element. Yeah. The actual element just lit up. We need to speak to Becky. Yeah. Don't we? Definitely. That, that's what we need to do. Um, unfortunately, what time is it now? It's only 12 30. What concerns me is. This is not going to reach its peak till the early hours of the morning. Yeah. You know, so let's go downstairs, have a little comp lab, and decide yeah. where we're going to go with this because we know there's obviously quite a lot going on. Absolutely. And I like to know that that little boy is actually seen. Okay. <sighs> let's go. Okay, exactly what you said on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Around each night around this time. Yeah. Little boy. Yeah. Obviously, we didn't film him for, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, I came in the room with you. Yes. He looked scared to death. Yeah. And, he was and that's what we get every time. And he, he was sitting up straight in bed, doing that straight away. Yeah. yeah. God, God, Lady God, God. Yeah. yeah. Why does he call it Lady God? I don't know. He said, she's in pink. Yeah. I said, she's standing or she's floating. He said, she's floating. Mm. I said, does she smile? And he said, yes. Has she got a nice face? He said, yes. So that what I said to her is, yeah. well, there's no need to be afraid. Mm. But then I tried to explain to her, I know it's a little bit young, yeah, 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 but yeah. I said, when I was little, I used to see things like that, they called them night terrors. Oh, right. You know, they're not really there. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So what I said to him tonight, I'm going to do some magic. Yeah, magic. Because he, he's a little kid for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to do some magic and see if I can make that night terror go away. Does that sound like yeah, a plan? Yeah. And we shook on it. Yeah. One thing that is going to help, undoubtedly, yeah. Each night he's waking up and he's straight yeah, around him. Yeah. yeah. Swap me into his bed. Oh, okay. You know, so he said it'd been yeah, yeah. his eyes and he could see yeah, him on the landing. Yeah. Make him sleep the other end of the bed. Yeah. yeah. So he's actually facing the window. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 That that might make a lot of difference yeah. just in itself. Yeah. Because it, at the moment now he's expecting to see something. Every yeah, time yeah. He, 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 he wakes up at night. Yeah. But if he opens his eyes he just looks out the window. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. The other thing, do you, say, do you leave the lights on at night? Yes. Uh, yeah, the lamp. Right. Like, like, the, the light and the doors. I've got to say, without being disrespectful, yeah. the lights you've got in his bedroom is hardly going to help. Okay. It's a lit school. Yeah. No, but okay. I did like it, so... Yeah, <laughs> right, I know, but yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. But the kids 
for, I'm not saying anything wrong, don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, under the circumstances, and with kids having naturally vivid imagination, yeah, 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 yeah. lit schools in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I would get rid of the light. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Replace it with something pleasant. Yeah. Something. Well, I was looking at something for them anyway, so. Yeah. So yeah. turn the bed around, get rid of that bloody light. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, that would be probably halfway there. Yeah. I've got some work to do tonight. I'm still trying to get to the bottom of everything that's going on. Yeah. I want to speak to the speech individual. I need to know who's whose mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be nice spirits. What I always say to them is, look, you know what, guys, you can come with me. Mm -hmm. These will tell you that how often do I end up taking. A, a, yeah, a, a, about every time. I'm into a, a lot better yeah. than me. Yeah. You know, I don't mind <coughs> anything here that I wouldn't class as being what you'd want. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll deal with anyway. Yeah. Okay. Right. When I've done that, what you're going to have to do is help each other yeah. change your mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've been in this for so long, you've had it for two years, yeah. and now it's just started to get yeah. Yeah. A, a little bit unbearable for you. Yeah. But you're still going to be, oh, there's a bump, there's a noise, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. to this, it's to that. That's probably not going to be the case. Yeah. Okay. I'll be honest with you. If I don't think we've achieved what we need to achieve for a leaf here tonight, yeah. I'll come back. But one way or another, it will be sorted. Okay. Thank you. As regards to you said your neighbour having problems, yeah. yeah, it's the other end of the street, mate. It's yeah. not a next door neighbour, so I'm not. That's that's, oh, right, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the minute, my concerns for, for you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. and obviously your children. Yeah, mm -hmm. but definitely make sure you turn your bed around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get rid of yeah. that bloody light. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and give him something to distract him from that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, he's a four year old little boy. Yeah, yeah. get a getting a light with, I don't know, racing cars or something. Yeah, you like cars. <laughs> yeah, just... Yeah. Well, I'll get him to pick whatever he wants out of the Argos Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying... Keep, keep those ones, ones that do patterns on the ceiling. Yeah. They're, they're pretty patterns. Yeah, that's the ones I was looking at, so... It mm. was like... I'm not sure, at the minute, things I'm just being honest with yeah. you, got to do. Give him something else to use his imagination on. Yeah. I mean, you know... It's just a matter of directing his, his imagination yeah. to something a bit, a bit more constructive. You with me to try and get him yeah. out of where he's now. I've had a chat with your little girl. Yeah. yeah. Told her the same thing, more or less. So, yeah, pressure's on me to get everything sorted yeah. out then. <laughs> so far, from, from what you've uh, heard from Don, yeah. what's your personal uh, opinion so far? I think he's done a very full of his job. I am surprised of finding out that there's more than one in the house. And how long have you had these experiences? Um, it was like six months after we moved in, after we basically lost a child. Okay. And, and that, that, obviously that must have been really, really hard for, for both of you. It was really hard, yes. Do you know what? I'm amazed so far with the, uh, the quality of the AVPs that Don have picked up on, on, on his digital recorders. Absolutely fantastic. Always fascinate me, they do. Um, it's definitely... A very weird atmosphere inside, so whew, let's go back in. I'm sure we'll just set something on the end of that. I'm sure we'll just set something on the end of that. I need all the spirits of the house to join me here, not just the one or two that are here at the moment. This is important. <coughs> I need to know that you're here, so can you make this flash? Can you tap on the table? Can you move something in the room? Can you touch one of us? Or can you throw something? Or can you speak vocally in the air? From, you know? Can anybody say yes loudly that we can hear? What's his name? Keith. No, Alfie. <coughs> I want him in here, mate. 
You shut the door, Alfie, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Have you got anything? How long have you been together, you said? Nine years. Nine years. Have you ever anything personally before that that kind of like along these lines? Yourself? No. No? Okay. Somebody has used a Ouija board at some stage. I did in the back. Did anything happen? No. Nothing at all. Nothing. How many no. times did you do it? Just <coughs> once. Okay. <coughs> How long have you lived here? Uh, well, in on Halloween it'll be three years. And stuff started here about two years ago. Yeah. Okay. And um, was there anything different two years ago? Was that when you had the? That's sit- when we lost the baby. Yeah. And then after that. That's when it started. How long after? Um. That's roughly about six months after. Okay, so that, that's probably unrelated anyway, it's just yeah. coincidence. What did it start with? Um, it started with like, <coughs> as if someone was walking up and down, the, up the stairs and on, along the landing. Okay. When did your little boy start saying he was seeing things? Uh, that only happened like a couple of months ago. What, what triggered that, any idea? No, I don't. You just, just started? It just started, yeah. Okay. And your daughter? Um, she noticed that... Um, Is she feeling off of him? When he says he's seen things, you think it's affected no, her? No, because I don't <coughs> even let on that he's seen anything. Okay. You don't talk around him about this stuff? No, not really, no. Okay. It, it's I just really basically asked my daughter to find out what she actually saw. <coughs> okay. So... What we need to do is discourage them yeah. and tell them that no, you haven't seen anything, even if we think they have. Yeah. But we've got to change their their point of view. Of it, yeah. Their train of thought. Yeah. Thing. Probably the one who tried to push me down the stairs a couple of times. Then. When was that? Um. <coughs> when Drake first started talking about Lady Gaga, when was when it first happened? Right. Trouble is. Guys, if they will leave your home and go somewhere else, because you know, as much as you, you you've got respect for them, yeah. it's not what you want. And it's it's getting the children. So just just in your own words, just just say what I said. Yeah. And and reply to him, please. Go on. Would you please leave my home and go somewhere else, not just for my benefit, but for my children's, please. saying <coughs> put it this way we've got two choices here any good spirits can come with me that's this is what's gonna happen guys um, I'm gonna request that any good spirits leave this place whether you come with me whether you go somewhere else um, that's entirely up to you but I need this family leave them alone because they're scared the children are aware that you're here and it's causing stress and problems. Anything here that's not particularly good, I would also request that you leave by your own accord, else I'll help you to leave. Okay? Um, <clears throat> so, would anyone like to respond to that? And Ouija boards are a whole new subject, which I'm going to cover. Do they work? Do they not work? Why should they work? Why shouldn't they? People claim all sorts of stuff going on, you know. Um, we're going to dig into that. And the other thing we're going to dig into in the next thing is paranormal frequency. Ghost frequency. This is the kind of frequency that scientists have replicated and made people think they're being watched and haunted and 
because of that they say well no you know what there's no ghosts people are not haunted we've proved it no you haven't proved shit where do you keep getting this we've proved it from <laughs> you've proved you can replicate a sound to give a similar effect to what people are reporting that does not mean you've proved the cause of the effect. It means you've been able to re somewhat replicate it. So, I mean, this, this is science. You know, like I said before, science is not a religion. It's a means to inquiry. How the hell do you just suddenly say, yeah, we've proved it. It's fake because look what we've done. No, not at all. Okay, let's put this in context. Let's go into the placebo effect. And bearing in mind, let's keep hanging on to that scientific thing about ghosts don't exist and hauntings and everything because we've proved it because they found a frequency which makes people feel that way. So therefore, ghosts cannot and do not exist. So let's do a big study right here, right now. Let's take 100 people. Let's give them all a migraine headache. Let's give a percentage of them people excedrin. Let's give the other ones a placebo effect drug. Nothing in it. Tablets look the same. Let's just do that right now. There you go. Let's monitor this study. Okay, so look. Oh, this high percentage of people took excedrin said, my headache's gone. Fantastic. You took a headache pill. It's gone. And the other people... A low percentage, but a substantial, still a substantial percentage, a markable percentage, say, they were fantastic, my headache's gone. That was the placebo effect, with a drug with nothing in it, no, nothing at all. So do we, this, do we therefore say that, yeah, do you know what, and that's because you didn't have a headache in the first place. You just thought you did. We proved it. We proved you didn't have a headache because we didn't give you an accelerant. <laughs> You see where I'm coming from? So, in that context, like I said, how do you make that conclusion? Ghosts don't exist because we put this frequency out and we proved it. Just saying. Anyway, guys, um, like I said, on the next episode of The Supernatural Files, we're going to look at ghost frequency. We're not doing a lot with the guys at the moment because of the time of year and it's horrible outside. But you know what? I, I think it would only be fair if we, we, despite the fact not expecting a whole lot, you never know, sometimes we get surprised. Let's try it. But getting back to that family, bless them. You know. When it comes to dealing with children, the children can't even know what you're there for. You know, I talked about a long time ago, well, many times about your mind being a blank page and people right into that page. If you're ever dealing with children, you do not want to be the person enforcing and right into that page that whether they or not, that that was a ghost or it was a demon. Unlike, unlike a certain well-known ghost hunter. I saw an episode on a channel, <laughs> not to say the channel, it might give it away. Called in. We think we've got demons. Yeah, I can confirm you've got demons. Wow, really? Really? How do you confirm you've got demons? How do you do that? These are hypothetically, these are demons. You know? We are legion. Demons are supposed to be super powerful and evil and everything else and yet the activity in this house was nothing more than probably below average well below average in fact apart from the usual thing <gasps> can you feel this dude did you see that did you hear the other yeah you know what chuck all that shit that's not evidence that's hearsay it means nothing point being is said to this child don't worry we're here now. We're going to get rid of this demon in your house. WTF. Literally, WTF. 
This is a goddamn child. <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. Again, as always, I'm not going to mention the name. But some of you have probably already have kind of assumed who that might be. And you're probably quite right. Do you know what? It, it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Some shows, some... They make these for entertainment. Entertainment. A person's distress is entertainment. No. A certain person, people, I mean, I've done the Brookdale Lodge, and you know what, you've not seen the documentary, but we got more than, I got more than anybody's ever got in that place. And it's real. Oh my God, they took a person who had obviously suffering mentally, trauma, traumatised mentally, took them to the Broaddale Lodge, where they had this experience many, many years before, which is obviously still playing on their mind, never got over it. Put them in the pool area and put a sack basically over their head. That's nothing to do with the welfare of the clients. That's to do with entertainment. The paranormal and shows can still be entertainment. But do you know what? People. This is people's mental health. Sure, you don't care. You made your show great. Got good ratings. This is people's mental health. We've all got a duty of care to people's, our clients' mental health. It's like the case I've just we've just watched. This is not about Don Fruit. It's not even about Becky. This is about the client's welfare. And that's how it should always be. There's a, a lot of, not all, but there's a lot of paranormal investigation teams dying to get into a place that's haunted. A client. Get the cameras up. Get just something on video we can put on YouTube. Wow! Look what we got, how fantastic are we? No, it's not about that. It's about your clients. I don't go around places that CCTV, uh, CCTV comes up because you know what? I'm not bothered about evidence. Occasionally we've done it like in a, a years ago in a, in a pub, a bar, something we've got to cover a whole big space and there's been reported apparitions and everything. But that's not a frightened family. That's not frightened children. That's to prove, well, at the request of the landlord, etc., to prove, can you find something that's going on? I'm creaking, aren't I, in this chair? I can feel my boot creaking, and so apologies about that. Right, guys. I did say we're going to try and talk to the guys. Oh, i got to tell you, before I do this, oh, my goodness me. I didn't bring it in with me, but I, I would have done. I had some poltergeist activity about two weeks ago. I was sitting in the big green screen place in my little studio thing in the back of the house. Paddy just come in from outside with a dog. Went through the door, closed it. This mouse, this heavy big Logitech mouse with two batteries in, which was sitting on a shelf which was... 15 feet away, behind me. Well, no, 15 feet away from where it's landing place. Oh my goodness me, do you know what? It just literally left the shelf. I was there, it went whew, about 50 mile an hour, smashed into the corner on the floor and just ended up in lots of pieces. Fortunately, I can put it back together. It wasn't that bad, there were pieces that were supposed to come off, but oh my goodness me, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> but it was, Incredible. And you know what? I get off on stuff like that because I have no fear. Was it someone looking for attention? Was it someone malicious? You know what? To me, it makes no difference because I can deal with it. Um, I, it's one of the times I wish I had got a CCTV camera set up because, oh my goodness, it was incredible. Okay. Now listen, guys. Let's see if we can talk to the guys now. I don't want to babble on too long because I am tired. It's late. It's Friday night, but we can try this. Becky, you was an integral part of that investigation with that lovely couple and them lovely children. 
I don't know if you're going to be able to hear right now. We already know it was spirits, and even possibly her mother. And the portal was obviously there, and that was apparent and pretty much proven as far as I'm concerned. And Becky, they moved out before we could go back because when we went that was actually a fact finding thing where you've got to find out what it is you're dealing with before you know how to approach it and deal with it because you know what not one shoe fits all there is lots of different varieties of spirits and a lot of different circumstances if you're going into a place doing the same thing in every place you know you're not being affected because that's not the way it works Becky, anything you want to add to that? Anything you want to say about that actual case? Thank you, sweetheart. That was something, Becky. I'm not even going to try and play that because these guys are not going to hear it. I can't even hear it myself. And if I can't hear it, I've got to expect these two. Okay, let's play that through here. Oh, you know, I've left this on, which means we're probably going to have a little buzz now on the microphone all the way through that. Apologies for that, guys. Let's just have a little thing. Power on. Bluetooth ready to pair. No Bluetooth, people think I'm Bluetooth cheating. Bluetooth connected. No, they'll think I'm cheating. Let me take it. Hey, Aux input mode. What was that voice when it went between Bluetooth and something else? Because there's nothing playing on my phone. Uh-uh. I don't know what that was. Interesting. Can we hear anything? Fantastic. Ian Barrow, fantastic guy. Very ethical paranormal investigator. Team. Send me a message. Don, I've just started you two using two recorders like you do. Wow, what a difference. I've been saying this for years and years and years and years. And you know, Ian Barrow is the only person that I know of that's actually took any notice. Yes, it makes a difference because the frequencies, they change. There are nights when this is fantastic and this is rubbish or this or this or even the other one that's lying around here somewhere. There are nights where this is amazing and all the others are rubbish because, you know what, it's variables, it's frequencies. And when we're doing investigations, we have to take into account variables. There's no point in just going with one recorder because if you're just outside that frequency range that night, you're not going to get a goddamn thing all night. But if you take two recorders, slightly different frequency, you're hedging your bets. And there's a 50-50 chance there you're actually going to get something on one whereby you normally, on a night, you wouldn't get anything. Right. Anyway, fascinating case. Um, quite a sad case. When children are involved, it's always a sad case. Um, I, I do take a lot from what I do using my attributes, including Becky. Becky's an attribute. Um, it's just a shame we couldn't go back to do part three. And as always, you know what? Me shooting something for a video is nothing to do with the condition of me actually attending. That is entirely down to the residents, to the clients. You know, if they want to share their story so that others feel compelled to share theirs, they want people to know this shit is real. It really affects people's lives and their children. Look at Lewis. Now, fine strapping young lad. In fact, I'm going to say, hey Lewis, how you doing? And hello Lynn, you know. 
you know again nothing took place paranormal way it kind of did but we played it down but cause and effect we replaced his cause and effect with my cause and effect and he was a happy guy after that he got his life back on track and now lewis is doing absolutely fantastic really is doing fantastic he's made a fine young mormon lynn and well his parents you know they, they sh i'm sure they are proud i'm sure they are proud right we've still not got this youtube live thing sorted out yet but i'm still working on that one okay i want a night with the guys so when i get a mild night and it's a little bit more conducive we just want a session talking to the guys questions answers a child being born when does that soul inhabit that body during conception during development just as the baby's born and these are all questions we can get the answers to but nobody knows the answers right now we can actually do that and we're going to do that the good news is just to finish off some stuff has just been submitted to a certain place for final approval which we could hear from back in the next couple of weeks now by this production company with this <laughs> the producer is fantastic she's lovely i'm not going to give you a name let's just call her mrs c she, she might be watching hey mrs c anyway I, i'm not going to give any details away because i don't know if i'm allowed to and you know what it's a production company and it's not all in their hands it's in the hands of others and stuff but we've been green lighted for quite a lot of work going out on a certain place especially about me and becky and what we've achieved and and other things we're just waiting for the final approval on that and this is more than one episode and that's what we're waiting for if we get that then i guess filming is going to begin in the new year but you know that would be something to actually get out to the masses like we've been wanting to do all these years me becky and stuff and that's going to be quite something for viewers if they get to see or witness stuff you know this is this is not going to be a normal show is it as you can imagine so we're just waiting for the final approval on that uh i will let you know if i'm allowed and when i'm allowed what's happening etc 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 but at the moment it's kind of secret scribble and it will stay there until i'm i'm told otherwise right guys you know what we're heading to christmas now it is december the 16th oh my goodness me wow we will get another one in before christmas we're going to do that uh in case anyone's wondering paddy's absolutely fine the fix with the place that we've been doing that's absolutely fine the squirrels are fine people that follow me on facebook will know about the squirrels and the new putty cat <laughs> so right now guys you know what thanks for watching i hope you took a lot from that video because and what i've said because you know that is important it is serious serious subject and people's mental health is serious and welfare of children is serious so for right now i'm don philip this is the supernatural files and i'll see you next week take care for now